Hey everybody, it's Andy and Mike from Remix Music, and this is Amp Head to Head, two amps and all, one amp leaves. All right, let's see what we got here. Today we have the Marshall DSL-40 combo over here. We also have the EVH 5150 40-watt iconic combo. Okay, so what we're going to do here is kind of uh, crazy. I've got a Fender ADY pedal here, and I've got them both hooked up to it. And I'm starting off with kind of an even, even level, um, clean type matchup here. I'm gonna go 50% on the gain, on the clean, volume at 50%, volume at 50%, gain at 50% on the clean channel. Uh, we've got the uh, EQs pretty close to similar there. This is the 40 watt Marshall DSL 40. So, and I am playing on a Charvel uh, SoCal, has a TB6 pickup in the bridge and an SH601 in in the neck. Uh, I'm gonna try humbucker and single coil mode on this. And I'm not gonna get fancy, we're just gonna listen to tone and see what we like. Both of these are on high power, not the low power, though they do have a low power setting. So we're just gonna try out the high power setting. So, let's start with the Marshall. <laughs> of the Marshall. Now I bet you I could get that. Let's see here, if I uh, do this and this and take some of the lows out of this. Like, like full body, as opposed to just, it feels like the Marshall's really bright and crisp, but it feels like the EVH has body. I'm gonna try that again there. Marshall. breakup when I just hit it that hard. I think the Marshall was really a little bit more break up there. All right, so that being said, let's go to the neck. Neck, single coils, Marshall.
in the neck on the Marshall. Well, Mike, what do you think? I like them both, but for different reasons. Right. That's what, that's what I was, I mean, I, I'm still a fan of the EVH stuff. Well, let's uh, let's go to a crunch. Let's go to just a crunch, okay? We go to the Marshall on just a crunch. There, fancy name there. I'm gonna go to the crunch on channel one there. That's just the overdrive on the EDH. Okay, let's start Marshall. Marshall. live mix I think the 5150 would cut a lot better than the Marshall would because I'm just hearing a lot of low end out of the Marshall that yeah. I mean you could tweak that I get well, that but you know I mean we got 6L6s in the 5150 and we got what hey those are 84s and hey Ron those are 84s in the Marshall right the DSL 40 no those are EL 34 34s okay those are 34s so they're two different beasts two different beasts I mean, theoretically, the 6L6s should be cleaner. Uh, but on just a crunch, here's the Marshall. different reasons oh, oh, oh Ron's chiming in here he's sitting in the back of the room and he says that the the EVH is pushing more air the SPLs are greater and and that's that's what I feel too but the bass is not the bass is actually set the same yeah, but it's coming bassier more, but it's the, the bridge sounds gonna be bassier yeah, than the 606s okay that's that's good insight there so I'm going to take that overdrive channel off and off here, and we're going to go to the uh, the ultra gain channel. Why not? So on the Marshall, we've got so I got the gain set at like we're going to go six o'clock volume at six. I'm going to go six o'clock. And I'm gonna have to, they got a master volume, so I'm gonna do something weird there. We'll get them we'll locked up. Great point. Okay, so the Marshall has these mat, the two different master volumes on it, 
the EVH does it a different way and it has a volume for channel one, volume for channel two, and has a boost, has a resonance, a presence, and the reverb. And we're gonna look at the reverb right now. So let's go Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I turned off the high gain channel there. Let me try that again there. what I just heard was I heard the high gain out of the Marshall and I felt thin like I was in my bedroom popping on an 80s hair band when I feel the feel the SPLs and the sound the overdrive out of the EVH I'm feeling actual air move and I feel like me personally I feel like there's space in the distortion and it's like it's emanating it's not like cut and i was checking to make sure there's not a gate and there's not a gate on these um okay so let's see here there's an overdrive 2 channel let's see what that does on the marshall <laughs> Let's hit the burn switch as our as our over as our ultra game. So now Marshall on their ultra overdrive two. trying to play favorites I like some of the clean settings on the on the DSL 40 and I like the clean settings on the 5150 what I felt was that the 5150 pushed more air and I could feel it the Marshall I didn't feel the same and granted I am sitting in front of these kind of off to the side a little bit um, but even Ron sitting in the back of the room said that the 5150 was pushing more air than the Marshall was pushing. Uh, not to say either one is better than the other. I think I prefer the tone and the way the distortion breaks up on the 6L6s inside the 5150. I like how it's performing. That being said, I'm impressed with the Marshall gain and the versatility of it. I think it's a great amp in itself. I think it sounds thin to me to me it sounds thin but that's just me you need to come up to remix music and try for yourself and let us know what you think because in remix music we want you to rock local <laughs>